Okay, trail breaking. What is trail breaking? Well, trail breaking is trail breaking. Uh, when you're driving, um, you're taught in, in, the, in the driving schools and classes, you get all your braking done in a straight line. Get the car woed down in a straight line, get it set, make your turn in, you know, get into the corner and then start feeding gas and get your track out. Well, what trail braking is, and it's, it's a technique of, you know, braking when you're turning. Now, if you're not doing trail braking and you're trying to brake when you turn, like bad things will happen. Uh, either the front or the back is going to go away on you. So you never want to kind of start braking in the middle of a turn. Uh, most of the back will go away. But what trail braking is, is braking into a corner. So it's like if, if uh, your foot's on the brake and your hand's on the wheel, as, the, as you're turning into a corner, the foot start coming up slowly and slowly. So it's kind of like a relationship between steering wheel and brake foot so that you're just very gradually coming off the, the brake, turning into a corner. It's, it's kind of like a technique that uh, in certain corners, it works really well. Uh, a number of years ago, I was at Mid-Ohio, I think, and uh, I had like another instructor with me and you know, we were doing hot laps. And he said, boy, you, got, you do really great trail braking. You know, like I didn't even know I was doing it. It's just something that was very natural for me. So the thing is with, with the, like the S197s with ABS, trail braking becomes a lot easier because ABS is going to keep you from locking up any wheels. But again, what trail braking is, is as, you, as your wheel turns, your foot starts coming off the brake in relationship to how much you turn. So you're turning into a corner, you're, you're still, you can brake a little bit later and then be trailing off the brake. That's called trail braking, trailing off the brake as you're turning in. Uh, it's something to... I wouldn't recommend you go out and do it because it's not appropriate for every corner. Uh, it's, I like it mostly for kind of like fast corners that aren't too sharp. Uh, so I, I can keep a good, really good momentum when I get to the apex. Uh, so and it's something, something to try and practice, but it's, you know, until you're in like intermediate or advanced, I, I don't think I'd try it. You stick with your, if you're novice, you know, intermediate, stick with your braking in a straight line, get the car set, make your turn in, Find your apex, get back to the gas, and track out. And as we've talked before, corner exit speed is absolutely everything. I mean, that's where it is for, for speed. Uh, you want to improve your lap times, improve your corner exit speed. And we'll go over that in the workshop. And that's, that's kind of like what, what I engineered my geometry about for S197 is that corner exit. It's also late braking and corner exit because that, that's how the Mustangs work the best.